Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you solution of 5 commonly asked questions in exams like GATE and ISRO. These questions have repeatedly come in these exams. So watch this video till the end so that you do not miss any of these questions. The first question is, we have a boolean function y is equal to ab plus cd and this has to be realized using only two input NAND gates. So the minimum number of gate required is and we have to select among the four options. Now, uh, in order to solve such type of questions that are based on uh, implementing the given expression using the minimum number of NAND or NOR gates, first of all, you need to check whether the expression given is simplified or not. Now, this expression is simplified and we cannot minimize it further. So we just need to start with the implementation. For doing the implementation, we need to bring it in the form so that we can realize it through the NAND gates and we can visually see that yes, this is how it will be implemented. For doing that, what you need to do is just insert two complements over the expression. Now, if you open up the one of the complement using the De Morgan's law, you will see that you will get AB whole bar dot with CD whole bar. Now this comes in the form of a NAND gate because this expression requires one NAND gate. Then we have another used for this one. And finally, the third one for the whole complement. So the answer to this question is that we will require three NAND gates in order to implement this function AB plus CD. Let's move to the next question. We have the minimum number of NANDs gate required to implement a given expression A plus AB bar plus AB bar C. Now again as we said that the first thing is to find out whether the expression given to us is minimized or not. In this case if you notice this is not the minimized expression and we can take A common. When we take A common, we get 1 plus B bar plus B bar C. Now quickly it strikes us that this complete bracket is equivalent to 1 only. And hence, we get this expression as A dot 1 which is equal to A. Now for implementing the variable A, you actually don't require any NAND gates. And hence, the answer to this question is 0. We don't require any number of NAND gates to implement this function because this function reduces to A. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the minimum number of two input NAND gates required to implement the function x, plus x bar plus y bar and and with z plus w. Now this question has repeatedly occurred various times in different exams, just they are flipping the variables. So x becomes a or something else. So let's see how we solve this. We have to find out the minimum number of NAND gates again. Now this is simplified because all the variables are different. So there is no point that we can simplify it further. In order to implement this using the NAND gate, first of all, what we can do is that we realize that this expression x bar plus y bar as per the de Morgan's law is equivalent to xy whole bar and here we can have z plus w. Now if you open the bracket this becomes xy whole bar dot with z plus xy whole bar dot with w. Now if you remember we just did a question ab plus cd. Now you can just assume that this is a, this is a and this is let's say b, this is c uh, and this is let's say D. So this comes in the same form that is AB plus CD and we know that for AB plus CD we require three NAND gates and one additional gate in order to implement this XY whole bar which is A and C both. So hence the answer to this question is four NAND gates. So you can see how simply we can solve it. Let's come to the next one. What is the minimum number of uh, gates required to implement the boolean function AB plus C if we are using only two input NOR gates? Now this is a little bit different because we are talking about AB plus C and we are talking about NOR gates this time. To do this, 
again we know that this expression is simplified so there is no point of simplifying we it we can apply but the distribution theorem for this that is a plus b dot with a plus c now this expression as per the distribution theorem becomes equal to this one so this is a b plus c is a plus b dot with a plus c now if you do the nor gate realization then what we need to do is that for this a plus b and a plus c we write double complement so then we just open up the internal one so we get a plus b whole bar plus with a plus c whole bar now again it strikes to you that this requires one nand gate one nor gate this requires another and last one we require for this one so again the answer for this question is we require three nor gates in order to implement a b plus c then we come to the last question which says that if a b and c are the variables you have to find out the minimum number of nor gates required to implement the expression given is a b c bar plus a c plus b bar c now one thing to notice is that whenever you are doing the nand based realization you should see that whether the expression given to you is in the sum of product form and whenever we are going for nor gate realization we should see that the expression given to us is in the product of sum form and that is why for the previous question uh, we had the sum of product form and we just converted it to the pos form that is product of sum with the help of the distribution theorem and we could quickly come to the nor gates so similarly we'll try to uh, convert this expression to the pos form in order to do that first of all we should know the complete sop expression and there should be no missing terms so in order to get back all the missing terms from this simplified expression what we need to do is as you see in the first term we have all the three variables in the second term we have b missing so we'll just write b plus b bar and then c and in the third term we have a missing so we'll write a plus a bar and then b bar c now you open up the bracket you will get a b c bar plus a b c plus a b bar c plus a b bar c plus a bar b bar c in order to know what is the uh, sop form for this we need to convert them to the min terms for doing this we know that this is actually when we are talking about sop this is 110 which makes it 6 this is equal to 111 which is 7 this term similarly is going to be 101 which is 5 and this is again repeated 101 which is 5 only and this is 001 so you have actually this expression given to you was 1 5 6 and 7 so if sop is this pos is all the terms which are not present over here so pos will be just all the terms that are left out so you have 0 left out 2 3 and then 4 so the pos for this thing would be equal to a plus b plus c which is equal for 0 then we have for 2 we'll write a plus b bar plus c for 3 we'll write a plus b bar plus c bar and for 4 we'll write a bar plus b plus c because in this case uh, you know the variable is actually uh, represented as 0 and the complement of the variable is equal to 1 whenever we are talking about the pos form now when you have this particular form with you now you can solve this question very simply see how we just need to look for the commons again now if you notice in this particular term a plus b bar and over here also we have a plus b bar so we can apply the transposition theorem we have a plus b bar common from here because the next term is c dot c bar which is equal to 0 and in the next two that is a plus b plus c and then a bar plus b plus c we have b plus c which is common so we can again apply transposition so we'll get b plus c 
plus a dot a bar which is equal to 0 so hence we are left with this now we can just do the double complement functionality in order to come up to the number of nor gates so we'll write this expression again and put two complements over here and now we just need to see that what we can do now what we can do is we have for the internal one a plus b bar whole bar plus with b plus c whole bar so we have in total we require actually how many gates we can simply calculate one will be required for this term a plus b whole bar and then for this one also another gate b plus c whole bar another gate for the last complement and if you notice you need one more gate for getting the b bar so in total we require four nor gates and hence the answer to this question it's a numerical type of question which has occurred in gate so the answer to this question is four in this way you can solve any question based on the nand and the nor based realization if you like this video then hit the like button below share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe i will see you in the next video